What's going on guys? Today we're going to be checking out some games which are coming out in May 2024. These are games ranging from smaller indie titles that have caught my eye to this month's biggest blockbuster releases. Remember to hit a like on the video, comment below what game you're most looking forward to playing this month and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Indica is a third person story driven game set in an alternative Russia at the start of the 19th century where religious visions clash with harsh reality. We play as a young nun who sets off on a journey alongside a most unusual companion by her side, the devil himself. This is being made by Odd Meter and published by 11-Bit Studios. Build as a nun simulator, I tried this during the recent Steam Next Fest and it had a little bit of a Euro jank feel to the game, but the feeling and set pieces of the game was very interesting. It's an action puzzler with a story guide and the play a few numerous different situations. I must say the UI and the music was a little jarring. I felt I felt like it didn't fit the tone and it strangely intrigued me more. The UI was similar to that of an arcade game and like pixel text and while everything else seemed very serious in tone. Curious about this one and certainly interested in how it plays out. It has a dark but humorous approach to things, that's for sure. Indica is coming to PC via Steam and Epic Game Store on the 2nd of May and it's coming to console later in the month. It was originally rumoured to be a week later, but it hasn't been confirmed. There's no price for Indica at the moment. A new 3D sci-fi RTS is coming with Homeworld 3, following up from 2003's Homeworld 2, so it's been a while to say the least. This is going to be launching with a campaign, free player co-op, as well as PvP for team battles, free for all, or 1v1 situations. You can also play against AI in the skirmish matches as well, which I always like to see in RTS games and it will be offering mod support from the start too. Updated combat, updated visuals. I've personally never played a game in the Homeworld franchise, but for fans of the genre and the series who have been waiting a long time, hopefully this will be one to enjoy. This is coming to Steam and Epic Game Store for PC on May 13th. The standard edition is $49.99 with a deluxe edition and the Fleet Command edition priced at $65.98 and $73.97 respectively. Some weird currency conversions going on there, I think. The Fleet Command Edition gives you three days early access, a digital soundtrack, and some extra content, and both special editions include the Year One Season Pass as well. With an earlier Prince of Persia game released back in January, it seems weird that I can say we have a second Prince of Persia installment coming on 14th of May into early access. Developed by Evil Empire and published by Ubisoft, the Rogue Prince of Persia is an action roguelike that sees you flow between death-defying platforming and acrobatic combat as the prince himself. We have one goal, to find a way to save Persia from a Hun invasion wielding dark magic. This may be giving you Dead Cells energy from the gameplay you can see, and that is because Evil Empire worked on Dead Cells, specifically the Return to Castlevania DLC alongside Motion Twin. This is their fresh take on this style, but in the Prince of Persia universe. It's coming to early access, and unlike normal Ubisoft games, it's actually launching on Steam straight away, unlike previous titles that need at least a year or so before they make their way to the platform. As Ubisoft may be seeing the light, no pricing as of yet, and will be PC only at the moment. For the very first time on PC, we can play through Jin Sakai's journey as Ghost of Tsushima finally makes its way over to Steam and the Epic Game Store. This will be the director's cut version, which also boasts PC-optimized graphics, DLSS-free and FSR-free support, as well as customizable controls and ultra-wide monitor support too. Yet another Sony title making its way to PC after the recent Horizon Forbidden West and The Last of Us Part 1 releases. Surely not long until The Last of Us Part 2 and God of War Ragnarok come over as well, maybe. Spider-Man 2 probably next year though, if not even later. Anyway, Ghost of Tsushima is coming out on the 16th of May and you can pre-order it right now for £49.99p on Steam and Epic Game Store. Arguably the biggest release for this month and the one that Xbox has a lot riding on is Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, the sequel to the award-winning Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Senua returns in a brutal journey of survival through the myth and torment of Viking Iceland. Intent on saving those who have fallen victim to the horrors of tyranny, Senua faces a battle of overcoming the darkness within and without. It's been a long time waiting for this one, I really enjoyed the first one, although the combat was frustratingly simple I found. The detail and sound design is still amazing to this day and I cannot wait to see what they do in this next installment. Senua Saga Hellblade 2 is coming out on the 21st of May. It will be coming to Xbox Series X and S as well as on PC via Steam and the Windows Store. Like all Xbox first party titles, this will be day one on Game Pass for console and PC as well. An update back in January said they would plan to release this game digitally only and it would be $49.99. That would be probably around £44.99p here in the UK. Now I remember playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on the Nintendo GameCube. It was my first Paper Mario game I'd ever played and I loved playing it back in the day. The turn-based combat, the 2D characters with the 2.5D backgrounds, all the secrets and puzzles as well. This game was a gem. Nintendo are bringing this back with updated graphics from the Nintendo 
Nintendo Switch so we can once again track down where Princess Peach has gone and hunt down the Crystal Stars. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door comes out on the 23rd of May for £49.99p for the Nintendo Switch only. Next up, from the makers of Kraken Academy, Happy Broccoli Games are back with their next game, Duck Detective, The Secret Salami. Solving crime is no walk in the pond. You are down on his luck detective, who also happens to be a duck. Use your powers of deduction to inspect evidence, fill in the blanks and bust the case wide open in a narrative mystery adventure where nothing is quite as it seems. A short game expected to be around two to three hours long is fully voice acted mystery adventure where you need to put all the clues together to solve the case. There is a demo you can download on Steam right now to check it out. It has an inspired art style reminiscent of Paper Mario, funnily enough, which we've just talked about, with the 2D characters popping out against the background images. Looking forward to this one when it comes out on the 23rd of May. There's no price details at the moment, but it's coming to PC via Steam and to the Nintendo Switch. Crown Wars The Black Prince lets you become the lord of your domain, set in the middle of the 14th century France, where knights and brigands run rampant throughout the land. This is a turn-based tactics and strategy game from Artifact Studio, and it's published by Nacon. From the gameplay and description, it seems like a medieval XCOM with squads of soldiers fulfilling various classes while upgrading your castle for better upgrades and advantages. This is coming to PC via Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and the PS5 on the 23rd of May. There's a demo on Steam you can check out now as well, and there's a base edition price of £34.99p, and a sacred edition which has some skins and cosmetics and the soundtrack for £44.99. Another one coming on May 23rd, which is turning out to be a very busy day for game releases, Songs of Silence is a strategy game set in a fantasy world threatened by the all-devouring silence. The game features a mix of turn-based kingdom management, auto-battler, and hero development contrasted with intense real-time battles. From that alone, it sounds like it's dipping into many different genres. It has a card-based battling system which influences the auto-battling sequences, but exploration in the overworld looks a little bit like Total War or Civilization in a way, and then you've got this really cool art style and vibe to it as well. Its soundtrack is also composed by Hitoshi Sakamoto behind Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy XII, and Valkyria Chronicles. It'll be interesting to see how this one shapes up. It's coming to Steam in early access on May 23rd. No pricing at the moment, but there is a demo on Steam, so if you want to see what this one's all about now, then you can check it out beforehand as well. This next one is a cozy game. It's called Sunnyside. You find harmony in the Japanese countryside as you help Sparky uncover lost memories in this modern take on the farming and life simulator. Building a thriving homestead, cultivate new relationships, chase your own happiness in Sunnyside. In this game, you can build your farm, gather local resources, look after your animals, and meet the other residents in the town. Customization, numerous recipes, and then there's turn-based deck building combat as well from what I could see. Developer Rainy Games is looking to modernize the classic farm sim. Interestingly, the bottom of the Steam page takes a slight dig at Stardew Valley, I'm guessing, saying, Disclaimer, Sunnyside is a farm sim with no watering cans, shipping containers, gift-based socializing, mayonnaise machines, or endless walking. We'll have to see how cozy it is when it's already firing shots like that, arguably one of the best and most important farming sims of the recent generation. Sunnyside is releasing on May 24th on Steam, but will be releasing on Xbox Series S and as well as the PS5 later on July 10th. Currently there's no pricing though but there is a demo on Steam that you can download now and try it out for yourself. And before we go we got one special mention this month which is V Rising as it enters its 1.0 just under two years after it released into early access. We'll be releasing in 1.0 on the 8th of May with a PS5 release teased for later this year as well. Played a little bit of this at launch and had some fun with it, but I think I got distracted by other games at the time. Maybe good to jump back in as it's sitting on Steam with very positive reviews with a lot of people citing that this is how you do an early access and that the game is very polished already. The price on Steam is currently £29.50 and there's, and there's a DLC bundle as well, although I'm not sure if this price will increase upon the full 1.0 update or not. There's an upcoming Castlevania collab coming as well on the same day that gives you some cosmetics to unleash your inner Alucard. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below what games you're looking forward to playing this month. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.